I think because I grew up in a family that's not really musicians, my mom kind of liked music and she wanted me to do music. So she, uh, or she wanted me to just try music and try a lot of other, other stuff. So I just kind of did a lot of things. I did gymnastics. I, I think the first instrument I played was the violin. Um, because you put me in it. No, that's that's a lie. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I was in a group where you could like try all instruments, kind of, and then I ended up playing the violin because I, I was best at it, I guess. So I did that for two years, but um, it didn't really stick. Like I I became a teenager, and the violin isn't really a cool instrument, so I guess. I just kind of stopped there, and then I was a teenager for a while. I didn't really play music that much, and I didn't really have any friends that played music, so I tried. Actually, I think the first band that I was in, I tried to form like a, a girl rock band, and I was the lead singer, and I wrote the music, which was in Danish, and my first song was called Min Moi, which means my mother in Danish. Um, and we played for like one year, but I was the only one in the band that really wanted to play music. So <laughs> it, it kind of sucked a lot. Uh, and then some years went by and I, I was just singing for a while in different bands and um, then at some point, yeah, I went to gymnasium and I wanted to be an engineer. So I studied uh, math and physics and chemistry, but that was really boring. So then I found out that I wanted to do music. So that's kind of how it started. Um, and then I, I tried a lot of different genres before I got to where I am now. So I started with like soft rock, I guess you can call it. And then I was in a funk band. And um, then I met a friend called Lars, who produced music. And he asked me if I wanted to sing on, on some of his songs. And I did. And I was just really fascinated with this, uh, well, that he could do everything and I could only sing. Singing is cool as well, but. I wanted to do everything. So he kind of helped me buy the right equipment and I started producing and I started doing my own stuff. And then I kind of stopped singing because, you know, life is in like different periods, I guess you can call it. And at one point I loved singing and then I wanted to not be a singer, so I stopped. And then I started producing, and I made like really glitchy electronic stuff. And then I just met people that liked what I did. So I guess most of my musical education, no, that's a lie as well. But um, most of my musical energy came from other people. Like either telling me that I'm good or teaching me how to be better or saying something that can make me better. So um, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, yeah, then I started producing and when I kind of got the hang of producing, I started singing again. So now I'm, well, singing, producing, writing, everything. And for a long while, I think a couple of years, I've been doing everything myself. But then I found out that working with other people is actually really cool. So I started working, like right now I have a bassist playing on, I'm, I'm producing an EP right now. And I have a bassist and a, s a guy playing the sax on that, so they can kind of help me where I might be a bit weaker. Like I'm not the best at producing a cool bass line, so he can play it, and he knows me very well. So yeah, I don't know if I answered the question. <laughs> I think a lot of 
uh, making music is kind of coincidental, coincidental um, because when you're producing, you might be working on a cool sound, and then you go with that, and you just follow it where it leads. Um, but at the moment, I'm on the EP I'm producing right now, I'm kind of looking a bit back as well on what I was listening to when I was younger and just trying to find quality in the music that I like and introducing it into my own sound. Um, also in the beginning I was only going with uh, the quen uh, coincidental sounds, I don't know if that's right. Um, and I didn't really see like YouTube tutorials or I didn't really try to make something that other people made before, because that's a crime to say when you are making music. Um, but during the last couple of years, I've tried to kind of duplicate what other people do, and then of course delete it and make my own, but just to get that process, like get that sound that I like from other people, get it into my hands so I can use it later. So I guess, I forgot the question again, but um, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess my music is kind of evolving from a lot of different stuff, where I am at the moment, what kind of music I like, what people surround me, and if I like the people, because it's only, it's not, if the important thing is not, Necessarily, if you're a good musician, it is important, but it's not the most important. Um, it's also important that you're just nice to be around, that you have a, have a good feeling when you're in the studio, and I think you make the best music if you're around people you like. So I try to surround me with people I like, and I try to be a person that people like, and then I guess music just sort of happens. So I've been in I've been through a lot of different periods listening to music. Like everything from rock to hard rock to really pop. Like I had the Christina Aguilera, the Britney Spears period, of course. I'm a girl growing up in the nineties. Um and I Sometimes when I hear that music today, because I often listen to like start 2000 music, um, I always try to find the quality and often the vocal melodies and that kind of music is really dope. So that inspires me. Um, Sometimes the production is pretty bad, sometimes it's pretty good, but that's the way it is with pop music today as well. I feel like I kind of already talked about it. It's the good sounds, it's uh, a great vocal melody. It's some, I really like when pus uh, music is not perfect, so I always try to kind of, for example, when I make vocals, and when I write lyrics and make the melody, I kind of jam it out. And then from that jam, I pick the things that I like, and I keep some of the mistakes, like some, sometimes when you record the very first jam, it's actually the best one, because it's imperfect, and it's, it feels more human that way, I think. So, being human is cool when you make music, I guess. <laughs>